Welcome back for my final thoughts. Wow, let me tell you, I never expected my final thoughts on Chattanooga and our fallen warriors to blow up the way they did. If you missed them, well, here's a quick reminder. President Obama, if you won't say it, I will. Radical Islam. This is not workplace violence. This is not a criminal act with motives unknown. This is terrorism. The suspected shooter, Mohammed Abdulaziz, a devout Muslim. Was he linked to ISIS or Al-Qaeda or Hamas or any of the other 15-plus offshoot terrorist groups? Does it matter? I'm sorry, but radical Islam is becoming the rule, not the exception. Yesterday's moderate is today's terrorist. I care that this SOB killed four of our United States Marines, and I care that our commander-in-chief is more concerned with Muslim sensitivity than the honor and sacrifice made by these Marines. Now, this is the 21st time our military men and women have been attacked here at home. This is not a Middle East problem. This is an American problem, and I'm sorry, but I can't sit here and let this go. Not anymore. Now, I didn't write those final thoughts to get attention. I didn't write them to shock people or get new Twitter or Instagram followers. I didn't write them to get calls from Fox News. Nope, none of that. I wrote those because I watched this Chattanooga thing unfold and I got mad as hell. See, when tragedy strikes, we come together. I've seen that in Chattanooga. I've seen that online. I felt it from you, true American patriots out there. But where is it missing? The White House. President Obama, if the best you've got for the families of our fallen warriors, for the people of Chattanooga, is some disingenuous statement at your beloved podium calling the incident heartbreaking, well, most of us would just prefer you say nothing at all. Because the only thing worse than silence is fakeness. But I'm done talking about President Obama because he, quite frankly, doesn't deserve the airtime. What does? The real heroes, the ones in Chattanooga, the ones in the Middle East, the ones that fight the evil some pretend doesn't exist. Now, on Twitter and Instagram, you've all been so kind. Many of you are calling me your hero, and thank you, but I'm no hero. I'm just a 22-year-old girl with a boy's name, a deep love of country, and the courage to say something. No, I said something because guess what? Those in uniform, they often won't. Yep, they have such a respect for their commander-in-chief that they hold back. Well, I respect the position of commander-in-chief as well, but I will call a spade a spade. And Mohammed Abdulaziz, that's not an American. And it has nothing to do with his name either. Now, before some of you sympathizers out there start calling me a bigot or a racist or anything else, listen up and pay attention to what's going on. Because ISIS and these other terrorist organizations are resonating right here in the United States. They conjure the radicals from within the moderates. If you're a Muslim and you love this country like I do, God bless you. I have nothing against you. But the second you start threatening my country, the second you start targeting my Marines, our Marines, I'm sorry, you no longer get a pass. And I'm not ranting for the hell of it either. I want to see some changes made. For starters, our service members should be allowed to arm themselves. They receive the best military training in the world and they deserve the right to protect themselves. Give them a little more credit. Now, all of this stuff I'm saying, it's created a following, and I'm so blessed. Thank you for all the support. And Facebook will continue to pull down my video, and some of your Facebook friends might even call you a right-wing nut for posting it. But let's get one thing clear. Standing up for those that protect and defend our freedom, that's not a right-wing thing. That's not a left-wing thing. That's not a red thing or a blue thing or a black thing or a white thing or even a Christian thing. That's an American thing. So let's stand shoulder to shoulder like Americans do, because this is no time to fall apart. But with that, thanks for getting on point with me tonight. Now, if you don't have One American News from your cable provider, let's change that. Call them and tell them you want the independent network that isn't afraid to tell it like it is. Because truth is, I couldn't say this stuff on any other network. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at Tommy Lahren, and let's keep this movement going. Use the hashtags Carrie OANN, Nuga Strong, America on Point, and Tommy on Point. And together, we can take this country back. God bless you, and God bless America. Take care.